Hi, I'm Kenneth Wajda. I'm a professional photographer here in Colorado. Welcome to another one of my photography talks. Today I'm going to talk about gear. And you can see I'm still working on transitioning the studio, so you can have a little corner that's not full of stuff to work with. But then I'll talk about this small little camera case. Look at how small that camera case is. It's really not that big. And yet, it's carrying a 4x5 camera. So this is, I love how small you can make a 4x5. So this is a Bush Pressman. It's a camera that came out of Chicago right after Speed Graphic kind of had the market cornered. And they said, well, we want to make a camera that instead of having a, a wood and leather covered body and having that speed shutter, let's make a smaller body, make it aluminum, and make it really high quality. And that's what this is. And this one has a 150 millimeter lens on it by Voigtlander, and I found this at an antique store, and I thought, this is something that's going to be fun to shoot with, to have in a very small case, just like I've been talking about the speed graphic as a point-and-shoot camera. And so I've been carrying it to different projects with a single holder with two pieces of film. So I have two frames that I can photograph with 4x5. And the very first thing I did with it is I photographed an old camera store in Chicago. I was visiting Chicago on a project I was out shooting in Milwaukee, so I went back down through Chicago and on my way back to Colorado, and I was promoting the Roy Stryker project. I had this with me, and I thought, if I'm going to photograph the exterior of this classic camera store that's been there since 1899, I should do it with a 4x5. So I did, and I'll put a link to the photo below, and it's just a, a beautiful piece of machinery that's really quite simple. It's got a viewer back. So you can see into your ground glass in the daylight. It's got a viewfinder. But the viewfinder is set for 135 millimeter. So what I've done is I use this uh, sports finder. And I was just talking to a friend of mine who shoots 4x5. And he explained that because of the way the lens has to be expanded, uh, the bellows have to be expanded to reach infinity, whatever lens you put on, that infinity mark will change on this rail. And so no matter where you put it, this sight is accurate. Because if it's a longer lens, this will be out longer or shorter. I don't know which way. And that's an interesting thing because I was worried that my viewfinder is not actually accurate, being it's a 135 and the lens is a 150. Although it might be negligible, the difference. But I want to shoot critically if I'm shooting 4x5, right? And so this is a Bush Pressman Model D. They had a Model C, I believe, that was a two and a quarter by three and a quarter. And this has a real simple little operation. And in addition to the speed graphic, this one has a full tilt forward and back. And uh, it moves laterally. What's that called? Slides, I guess. I forget my terminology for 4x5. But it does, uh, uh, oh, it shifts. It shifts left and right, and it tilts up and down, unlike the speed graphic, which doesn't have too much movement. The back doesn't have any movement. And when it's all said and done, you have to make sure it's back in at the infinity mark to put this back in. And you close it up. And you've got a really small camera and a very small footprint that you can toss into a bag carry one roll of 4 by 5 or one roll, one uh, holder of 4 by 5 that fits in the case with this. And I have one small camera case that can go over my shoulder. And I have 4 by 5 with me wherever I go. So I love that. I think it's falling out of the case. So I love that. I think that that's one of the things about, about you know, discovering different things. I never even knew a bush pressman, except for it was in an antique shop. And that was a treat to find. And, and it was a treat to work with right away because I had brought a speed graphic with me, so I brought some film holders. And instead of shooting the speed graphic, I shot the Bush Pressman. So if you're looking, they're pretty cheap too, like 100 bucks. I see them sometimes on eBay. Um, they're not that expensive, and it's a good quality camera. It has one limitation where the front lens board is kind of small. So some people say you can't get certain lenses to fit into the space that they gave four different lenses, especially newer, faster lenses. So you might be, want to watch out if you like shooting with a, a 90 5.6 or something. You might not be able to get the 5.6 end into the cavity that is that front lens holder, lens board size. 
So, all right, that's today's photography talk. A little bit of four by five. If you're enjoying these, hit the subscribe button. If you can support, please hit the Patreon and I'll bring you more photo talks whenever I can. Thanks so much.